I think the problem is the media is uh, the media are experts in nothing. They do not take the time to understand a phenomenon. They do not look at it in depth. They take the superficial look at it. They decide this is what it is, and they run with it from there. You rarely have a reporter who has the time or the expertise to study something in depth, and yet they seem they, they present themselves as if they know everything about everything. So you get a reporter on television, he gives his report, and then the anchor asks him some kind of question as if he's the local expert on this. But when you look beyond that, you find out that the reporters are just taking the information at a superficial look. They may have their own bias about what something is. They may understand what makes a good story, and they're more interested in a good story than necessarily how this is going to play out. And we've seen this in the cattle mutilations, where uh, reporters in one location, call reporters in another location to get their take on it, never suspecting that those reporters don't know any more about it than, than the first group of reporters do. Nobody understands anything. They don't take time to look at it. They don't read Rommel's report. They don't uh, talk to the veterinarians. They don't talk to the people at the universities. They don't talk to people who have under, understand the uh, pathology of death. Instead, they talk to the rancher, says, yeah, the cow is dead, and it looks strange. They talk to the UFO investigator, says, yeah, the cow is dead, and it looks really strange. And we've seen this a lot of times before. But they don't say, well, what does that mean? What can I do to understand this more fully? How does this fit into my whole view of the world, instead they say, well, this cow was dead and it looks unusual. And everybody says, yeah, that cow was dead and it looks unusual. They don't understand what is going on. And you can take a look at any number of different things that they report around the world, regardless of what it is, regardless of your political persuasion, you can see the reporters spinning the stuff the way they want it to go. And I think that's the problem. The media doesn't understand this, but it's an interesting story. They can do it in a minute and a half, and they're off to the next one. They've got wonderful pictures of dead cows. They've got uh, the, the, local interest, the local interest angle uh, to, to run with, and they don't, they don't care any more about that story because they have another one to worry about tomorrow. I don't know how many times I've seen that in how many different arenas, things that I know something about, I see the reporters making elementary mistakes, but nobody ever calls them on it because they're busy doing the next story. We had an example just here in, in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, where they, they do a little column in the newspaper called Times of Our Lives. And they reported the story of a guy who survived the sinking of the Titanic and how he'd slid down the ropes to one of the lifeboats and he'd burned his hands. And people were mean to him because he'd escaped from the Titanic by, by jumping into the lifeboat and beat him up in the lifeboat and uh, arrested him for it. And, I, and, and I, I wrote a letter to the Gazette, and I said, this isn't true. There's absolutely no evidence that this guy, anybody by this name, was ever on the Titanic. This story has never appeared anywhere else in all the stuff that you do about the Titanic. Uh, because it was reported earlier, we run with the story, we assume it's true, we don't say, this doesn't make any sense to me. I've got to, I've got to look beyond that. And I think that's what happened with the media. They, they said, this is an interesting story. They ran with it and said, I don't care. That was yesterday's story. I'm going to go to the next one.